loads of English students, masses of English students, hordes of English learners are desperately trying to speak English fast in the hopes of sounding more like a native. This is a mistake and I'm going to tell you why. Why do we speak? To communicate our ideas, our thoughts and feelings. Therefore, ensuring that the listener can understand you is of the utmost importance. Have a listen to these guys. So in life, you know, there are moments when you stop and ask yourself, how did I get here? Like, why am I standing here? Well, this is definitely one of those moments for me. And I find myself going back to the beginning back to my roots. I was born to incredible parents, amazing parents who served as doctors in the Indian Army. I was the first born, and as far back as I can remember, I made my parents very proud and happy 99% of the time. I said we would confront our problems as a country and lead people through difficult decisions so that together we could reach better times. A country is not something you build as the pharaohs built the pyramids. A country is something that is built every day. How blessed we are to have had people before us, day by day, brick by brick, build these extraordinary countries of ours. How fortunate, how privileged we are to have the opportunity to now, ourselves, build this world anew. All of them are extremely confident and have an air of authority. This is because they speak slowly. Of course, you can go too slow and put your listeners to sleep, which you don't want. However, you have to stop obsessing about speaking fast. Speaking fast will only serve to make you sound nervous, insincere, self-doubting, or if done with confidence, salesy and untrustworthy. When you speak fast, the listener has to work much harder to understand what you're saying because you're giving them less time to process more information. You're mumbling, because it's impossible to fully enunciate at speed. You're not projecting and you're probably sounding a little bit monotone. Remember what our goal is, to communicate our ideas, our thoughts and feelings effectively. Well, speaking fast, and this advice goes to natives as well as non-natives, speaking fast does not help you to achieve this goal. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, I know what you're thinking. If I can't speak fast, then what should I do to sound like a native? Well, it's simple. You need to follow these four very simple steps. <laughs> Number one, prioritize pronunciation. Pronunciation is key in every language and it's often overlooked. Whether your preference is American English, British English, Canadian, Australian, or any other English accent, prioritize learning the correct pronunciation. Having a mixed accent or a strong foreign accent makes listening much more difficult for the listener and can even distract them from what you're saying as they curiously ponder where in the world you're from. Hmm, we don't want that. No, we want people to pay close attention when we talk. We don't want to have to repeat ourselves. If it's a British accent you're after, and many people love a British accent, then I can definitely help you with that one with links to my pronunciation playlist down below. Step two, practice, practice, practice. Now it goes without saying that new skills can easily be lost if they aren't practiced. Therefore, you should make it a habit to practice your English speaking regularly in order to reinforce your new pronunciation skills I just did a shimmy. Anyway, carry on. One way of doing this is to get yourself a language partner. But an even better alternative is to take regular lessons, regular lessons, with a native teacher. 
And if you haven't found yourself a native teacher available to give you one-to-one -one lessons, then you may want to scroll through the huge list of available teachers on italki who have kindly sponsored today's lesson. Yes, italki have thousands of native qualified teachers for you to choose from, and they're teaching over 130 languages. Now, italki, if you're not familiar with them, are an online platform. They operate 24 seven, which makes life much easier because it's so convenient. And they have an app which has some amazing free resources. So it's worth giving that a look. They even have an option to find a language partner. Now, next month, they're doing something extra special, which is the Language Challenge in October, where they're basically going to reward you for achieving your language goals. If you want to enter, it's very simple. You just sign up for the challenge, you schedule your lessons for October, you set your goals and you track your progress. If you achieve your goals, then you get rewarded. And these rewards include things like coupons, merchandise, and even a chance to win $500 towards a trip of your choice. Oh, sounds lovely. Where do I sign up? Well, if you're interested and you're new to italki, you can even get $10 free credit upon your first purchase. It just gets better. All you have to do is click on the link down in the description box below. Check it out and get started. So that's step number two. But what about step number three? Shadow and mimic. Now you may feel a little bit silly to mimic, but it is how we all learn to speak in our native language. We just repeat things. And it can be incredibly helpful when trying to learn natural speech patterns, pronunciation, intonation, and speed. In case you have doubt about the difference between mimicking and shadowing, Mimicking is when you repeat what someone has just said. Mimicking is when you repeat what someone has said. Yeah, I, I just said that. Whereas shadowing is speaking what is being said at the exact same time as the speaker. I do offer a lesson on shadowing, which you can find again in the description box below. Step number four, connected speech. Once you have grasped general pronunciation, reinforced those skills with regular conversation practice and worked on the speed of your speech through shadowing, then it's time to really master connected speech. This is the proverbial cherry on the English language cake, shall we say. Learning the tricks of connected speech will help you to get that natural flow of speaking and to delve down deep into the features of connected speech, all you have to do is go to our next lesson. How handy is that? But for more exciting lessons coming your way very soon, make sure to stay subscribed and turn on those notifications so you don't miss out. I might go live sometime and you'll never know unless you click subscribe and notify. Until next time. Well, until I see you in this lesson.